every sacrament contains word and right, speech and action. God communicates with his people using both these dimensions. In fact, when God communicates with us, these dimensions are intertwined. For God, word and action go together. He speaks and things happen. For example, in the creation account in the book of Genesis, God spoke and it came to be. He promises something and fulfills what he promises. God is faithful. For God, word and action go together. The Mass, like the other sacraments, witnesses to this reality in its very structure. The two main parts of the Mass, the Liturgy of the Word and the Liturgy of the Eucharist, demonstrate that God speaks and acts. He promises and fulfills. Word and right bear testimony that God is true and faithful. The general instruction of the Roman Missal states that these two parts, word and right, are so closely interconnected that they form but one single act of worship. For in the Mass, the table, both of God's word and of Christ's body, is prepared from which the faithful may be instructed and refreshed. In the Liturgy of the Word, through the readings and their explanation in the homily, God offers his people spiritual nourishment as he reveals his plan of salvation. By their silent reflection and responses, the people make God's Word their own. In the Liturgy of the Word, a dialogue takes place between God and his people, which is intended to flow on into action. In the Liturgy of the Eucharist, the one single sacrifice of Christ is made present at the sacramental level. At the Last Supper, Christ anticipated his total offering of himself when he took the bread and the chalice and gave thanks and broke the bread and gave it to his disciples, inviting them to eat of his body and drink of his blood. Accordingly, the Church has arranged the entire celebration of the Liturgy of the Eucharist to correspond to these words and actions of Christ. The priest takes bread and wine. He thanks God on behalf of the community. He breaks the one bread and he gives to the people. And as these actions are performed by the Church, God himself acts. The bread is transformed into the body of Christ. The wine is changed into his blood. The action of God by the power of His Holy Spirit brings about a transformation in the elements offered and a transformation in the people participating. As we partake of the sacred meal, we are nourished and renewed. God is at work in the whole assembly and in each one present there. And He continues to act in us and through us, even as we are sent forth to live the mystery we have celebrated. What do the two tables mean for us? Firstly, that we participate wholeheartedly in both the Liturgy of the Word and the Liturgy of the Eucharist. For both form one act of worship and the Lord nourishes us at both tables. Secondly, that we reflect in our lives what we celebrate in the Eucharist. That God is faithful. In Him, word and action go together we too must show in action what we say 